guys welcome back today I've got my hot cocoa mug I just made some because I know I'm gonna go out to get the girls from the bus and I'm really hoping if they can obey today because <laughs> literally we haven't decorated the tree because they haven't obeyed that they will come home from school Ashley has to unload the dishwasher and Chelsea's supposed to vacuum the floors but the floors are fine so she, I need her to clean her room with Ashley as well and then they can decorate the tree so I really hope today is the day that they get to decorate the tree. The older girls probably won't help as much. Abby might, but you know, they just aren't into totally getting into it. And I can't worry about waiting until Jason gets home because he doesn't have a day off until Thanksgiving day. And then we're getting our pictures taken the next day. I just confirmed that with my father-in-law. He's a photographer. So I'm hoping that they can obey today and we'll get the tree decorated. I've got the ornaments all set out. They're just over here in the, that little basket tray thing has all the ornaments in it. Looks really yellow out there. All right, Ashley is home. Are your chores done, Ash? Yes. Let's see. Oh, uh, I don't know. No, they're done. Those were already out. We need to put the milk away. That wasn't her chore. Open the fridge up so I can put the milk away. These were out. I hand washed those. We just need to put them away. But you were and then were you drying off the dishes too? Yeah. Good job, kiddo. Everyone made hot cocoa themselves. Nice. Not you, you just drank mine, Goober. And then we just need to put away these dishes. Can you put this bowl away and I'll do this one right here. You guys, are your cupboards ever, like it's ridiculous. <laughs> we try so hard. And if they're not dry, they won't, they'll mold. Like, I don't know, is that what? I think it's only that way in the, in the Northwest. <laughs> I don't, I never grew up having things go moldy in Utah. Okay, do you have ornaments, Ashley? I don't know if these are ornaments. I'm gonna do different ornaments to start off with. You wanna put the ornaments on the floor for me? Get the bag, get both of those bags out. Yep. Okay, put those on the floor. Um, we might do the garland first. This? Yeah, get that one out. Actually, I wanna do these ones first. Okay, and then I think we need to put the garland on first. Yeah, because then the ornaments go on it. I've been looking at Michael's for another one. I might have to take that one down. I, they haven't had another set of these at Michael's. All right, it's all done. And I realized, I think why I chose the ornaments that I chose, because they're all, actually, a lot of them are homemade. I would say 90% of them are homemade, and I'll point out the ones that are not. These are the ones that we just did, just a few weeks ago, and I hand crocheted these guys. I've got trees and stars and circles, and then these are my quilt balls. And I have a tutorial on all of these except for the crochet. I can't crochet anymore because my hands go numb. Thanks to four kids, <laughs> I get carpal tunnel when I crochet, but they're super fun. These ones we just did. I made these ones years ago. 
fill them with fluff. These ones are store-bought. These are from the dollar spot at Target. It was a four pack, so I have four hats, one for each girl. I forget where they all are. They're all over the tree. Oh, there's another one. That one was mine. And then I also have these ones. These ones are store-bought as well. Oh, there's one more. There's one more. Is that your girl down there, Ash? Is that yours? So they each have their own girl. I don't know what the difference is between them all, but they each kind of have their own little girl as well. These ones here are store-bought. They're from Target as well. I probably got a whole bunch of these on clearance after Christmas one year. And then that one up there is store-bought as well from Target clearance after Christmas. But overall, I am super happy with how it turned out. I wanted it to kind of look homespun and red and I like the burlap. Oh, the burlap ones are not handmade. There's a lot that are handmade and I just absolutely love how it turned out. The star is a little wonky up there, but it's still cute. It lights up. Again, I got that one on clearance at Target after Christmas. I got everything on clearance. That's how I buy things. So, super fun and cute. So one thing that we didn't add this year was the tree skirt because I made this new box. If you didn't see that vlog, I made this wooden box that goes under here. Made it out of scrap wood that my friend gave me, but it means that there's no room for a tree skirt. Normally I wouldn't have worried about it, but this tree skirt is actually handmade by Jason's mom and she has since passed away. And I have loved using this tree skirt ever since we got it 14 years ago actually and so I want to find a way to use this and kind of honor her memory so what I think I might do is just drape it over the edge of the box and just kind of fan it out over the floor and then we'll decorate with then we'll just kind of add presents around it so Jason grew up in Alaska so a lot of these little decals are <laughs> Alaskan they're kind of cute little Eskimo and dog sleds and it's totally not how he grew up but it's kind of fun that it's native Alaska-ish and they have, you know, fun memories of living in Alaska when this was actually handmade. So for now, I think I'm just gonna leave it tucked in there like that. You might move it around as we add presents, but I just wanted to remember that and her memory. We actually need to mend that little section of it right there, but I always just liked thinking of her when I pulled out this little tree skirt. So I think I'm just gonna leave it with the tree in today's video. I worked on the computer and ran a few errands this morning prepping for a party that I'm now in charge of again. This time it's for like 200 to 300 people, so it's a little bit more overwhelming. So I'm kind of doing some shopping and research and designing and stuff for that party. It's kind of occupying my time during the day. And we have to leave in like an hour to take the kids to their church activities and then Jason has to get home in time for his, so. I'm just gonna leave it with that tonight. Our decorated tree, finally. Just in case you are new and you should subscribe, by the way, this is the Jasper Cashmere tree from Michaels. It was about $200 on sale when I got it. It actually was cheaper when I first found it, but I didn't make it in on that sale. But it's normally like a four or $500 tree. So that was really fun and we added extra lights to it. We added these little balls and then it comes with the regular stem right there those ones are come they come on it but i like the extra lights on it and i just think it's really fun and we will get a second string of these i actually might get two more because that only did like the first third of the tree and then we need to do the bottom half of it i don't want to take this guy down because it was really hard to get it to hook and stay up here so if you haven't watched any of these other decoration videos, you should. I will leave all of them linked in a link down below in the description and in an iCard right here so you can check out how I decorate for Christmas. So take care, you guys. I hope you guys are having a good holiday season and Merry Christmas and good luck decorating. <laughs>